Hi, it's Steve here. I want to give a quick demonstration of how to load GIS shapefiles into ArcGIS Online. Here's a project in ArcGIS. There's a couple of feature data types here, a coastline and a buffer zone around it. What I need to do is export each of these separately into a zip file containing all the files comprising the shape file. So I go to the data menu and I can export data and save a shapefile onto the disk. I do that for both of these feature types. Here are those files. If I select all of the files for one of the shapefiles, the coastline, I can create a zip file from it, like this. And send that to a zip file. I do the same thing for the other feature type as well. Now, in ArcGIS Online, I'm ready to load those in. First of all, take a moment to look around ArcGIS Online. I have my content and links to groups and so forth. Here's my content, and I have a map that's been created. If I didn't, I could go to the Add Map function like this. Let's bring out the properties of the map. I click on it and it shows me the properties of the map. I can select to open that map in the map viewer. I now need to zoom in where the data is. So I zoom in with the mouse to the East Anglia region, like this. I'm now ready to load in each of those two zip files. To add data, I go to the Add menu, and there's a few options there. The one I want is Add Data from File. Now I navigate to those shapefile zips that I have, and each in turn I can import. I can select to load all the features like this. And there's the buffer zone. Now I can change some of its properties, like the transparency for that data layer, like this. I can change the colour as well. Let's add the other one now as well. So I navigate to the second zip file and select that one and import that. I can change a few of its properties, the way the colours are shown and the symbology. In this case, just a single simple line. I might like to change the colour that's shown. I can select options to do this and select a colour that I might want. And just OK that. And that's how you load in the data into ArcGIS Online. Remember to save the map when you've finished. And once it's saved, you can also share the map with other users on ArcGIS Online. To do that, you just select from the Share menu. In my case, I have a group that I want to share this data with. And that's it. Fairly straightforward. Thanks for watching.